Welcome back everybody to Klein's Land. Just going to give the fent a little bit of a wash off from the last episode. And then we will get cracking on with doing some chores. So what I probably want to do first is cut those trees down just to try and earn a little bit of money. We'll clean the plough off as well. I'm not too worried at the minute about getting rid of the stumps, but we will do that at some point, whether I do that off camera or a little bit later. But I just want to cut the trees down, collect them all up, see how much we get. Probably not a huge amount. I was thinking about even getting rid of this tree here just because I think I know we got the junk there but from there this way it's not a bad size for something to go there quite what I don't know I'm gonna leave that tree though I quite like that one we don't want to destroy too much of the farm area so let's go and dump the plow off and we need our bucket trailer and then we're going to do a little bit of logging so let's fire that off there and we'll put that back in here where it lives which is just somewhere there superb and then I think our bucket was in here wasn't it yeah there it is and the trailer that's in its usual spot in one of our sheds let's just um Go for a little bit of diesel. 22 euros. First time we've filled up, I think, one of our tractors on this series. And the vent is looking like it could do with a little bit of repair. It's not in desperate need. But I think before we do any sort of more ploughing, cultivating, etc., we'll give that a little bit of maintenance so let's head on over to our new area like I said last episode it seems to be just those two trees that we can cut down the sort of horrible snaggly one and we have got a reasonably nice straight one to cut down So let's start with, um, let's go about there because what we need is for that to fall into our land otherwise we're going to have trouble. Now. We want to get as low as we can so we get as much of the tree as possible and that isn't a bad sized tree actually I don't think so get rid of all the branches and just try and cut the tip off a little bit because that's always pretty useless so we need to be, make sure we're going to be able to pick these up it's not a thick trunk but 
We don't have super strength, so we're not on PC. So let's just see what we can lift up. That should be manageable. There we go. We'll drop the smaller ones in here. And then we'll move on to that tree over there, wasn't it? Which I think is going to take me a lot longer than this one. So I may do a little bit of a time lapse on that one. And then we can head over to the sawmill, see what we make. To be honest with you, whatever we make, we never had before. So it's going to be a bonus either way. Um, is that one going to fit in there? Yes, it will. We'll get as much as we can in that tipper. It's just a real shame we can't get rid of this one here in front of us. Or not with the chainsaw at least. Cough, cough. <laughs> I think you know what I mean. So, probably about there, I think that might fit in the trailer actually, oh I thought that was going to be too heavy then but it's not good, chuck that in there, that tipper for the fence has been so so useful to us on this series, it's just been a lifesaver I mean I'm more or less getting flashbacks of episode 1 where we were loading up the logs seems so long ago but we've progressed very far so that is that tree done like I say we can't get any of the others so we're just going to head down here and this is where it's probably going to get a bit messy like it did last time when I was clearing the area where the wheat field is at the minute by the chickens. So like I say, bear with me. It's not too bad, but we'll get it down. Hopefully it will. Don't be like that now. There we go. Low as possible again. Probably going to fall on the tractor now. No, don't fall that way. Right. <laughs> Let's get it cut up anyway. there 
I had to cut these bits up into silly little pieces because I just could not pick them up. And it's obviously the trunk as well, so it's the thickest part of the tree. Can we put these straps on from here just to be a little bit more realistic? Yes, we can. There's no straps on the front, but we're fully loaded. With a little bit of foliage poking out the back. So, what are we thinking? How much are we going to make off of this? I don't think the snarly, snaggly tree, whatever you want to call it, I don't think that's going to give us that much money. Although those stumps are pretty thick. It's just a shame they're so small at the minute. And the other tree wasn't a bad size. If we can get... Well, five grand would be nice. I don't know if that's wishful thinking. I, I don't see why we couldn't make that much. But we will soon find out. And then I think once we have sold this off at the sawmill, we'll grab, I think we'll grab the lizard again and our cedar. And I'm going to put some grass into that new field. I know some of you might think that's a bit of a waste, but now are we going to get all that? Let's turn that off but it's all gonna be in preparation for us getting cows obviously we have only got nine thousand euros now just over but hopefully this is gonna produce a decent amount hopefully he says oh I tell you what that was a pretty good guess 5,734 euros that gives us 15,000 I'm happy with that that's not too bad off of just two random trees which to be fair weren't really in our way but they were there to be chopped down and made money off of so we'll head back I'm not too fussed about parking up any of this. I can do that later. See, we've got all these sort of trees as well. The two more snarly snagglies, but I don't want to destroy the loveliness of the map too much. But if we need to make a little bit of money here and there, it could be options because that at the end of the day is what forestry is all about right so let's grab the lizard and then our cedar I'm only grabbing the lizard because I just think they match up brilliantly these two colour wise the blue's a little bit off but so right we've got hardly any seed so we need to head up to the shop and purchase some I might actually be cheeky and get a pallet of seeds and leave it up the shop I'm sure Graham won't mind if he doesn't mind us phoning him up at gone 8 o'clock in the evening to come up and buy new pieces of equipment he's not going to mind a couple of little pallets left behind is he right should be able to nip in front of this car right so 
bit risque. Let's jump out. So yeah, I was thinking if we go into pallets, we can get these, can't we? Which at the end of the day is going to be a lot cheaper for us. I don't want to double up. You can go stacked up like that, but I think we would just go for this pallet. And then we can just back up with our cedar and load it up from there. So we'll buy that. That's taken a bit of a chunk out of our money. Hopefully that should be over there. There it is. Back in the lizard. And we'll open up that little fella. And we'll crash into the pallet of seeds. And start filling it up. Look at the way those are swaying. I love that. Brilliant animations. That's because we crashed into the seed pallet. So we've used hardly any seed there. Which means we've got some up the shop when we need it. I mean we could transport them down to our farm. But like I say as long as they're not going to get in the way up the shop. We'll just leave them up there. So we can turn our beacon off. And we'll swap over to grass. There we go. I think we'll go around this way first. So turn on, off we go. I don't think that branch is going to be a problem actually. It doesn't really seem to have a collision on it. But it does stop you from seeing where you're seeding. <laughs> I'm really glad we invested in this seeder though. It's um just kind of speed things up a little bit more and talking of speeding things up let's get this field done with some grass in that is all finished we are all grassed up ready to grow <laughs> grow or go even I suppose both of them fits doesn't it right we're not going to be able to see that because grass is turned off that looks hideous but if we do that there we go that is our field that we've just put grass in we'll turn that back off because we don't want that to strain our eyes. We'll give it a quick 
dust over with some fertiliser and I think we probably will leave it there for this episode. So again, nice and productive. We've got some vital things done on our farm. And then next episode, our three fields, the two soybean fields and the wheat field, will all be ready to harvest hopefully. which will be all hunky-dory we might as well stay in this tractor I think so we'll put the cedar back he kind of lives here doesn't he by the pallets we need our fertilizer spreader which is probably empty yet <laughs> so we're gonna have to head up to the shop and purchase some I think as we sort of grow and expand we will upgrade some of our equipment like we have done so far obviously we're not going to be heading into too big a machinery but just things like these spreaders just go for something that's similar sort of size but it's got a better capacity because I always get confused between this and the line one I think it's this one that is 350 if I'm not mistaken I am going to double check because why are we all the way down there? 350. So again, we want to go for, we're not going to go for pallets, we'll go for the single bags. 100, 200, 300, 350. 50 I hope that's the last one Ooh, too far get this loaded up and then we can head on over right that is the last bag that should be 350 excellent raise that back up we'll head back over here give that a nice little coating of fertilizer obviously that field because it's quite a good size I'm pleased with that field um, it doesn't have to say a grass field as we expand and get bigger we can buy one of these sort of designated grass areas I mean they don't even have to stay as grass areas it's just what they are on the map at the minute so let's try and do this without running out or missing bits Quite a nice spot as well for a field with the trees around and all the bushes and bus bushes and shrubs so I cannot say it. <laughs> Too many S's in there for me. I may even get rid of the stumps off camera. That's going to mean repairing our stump grinder though which is obviously 
deteriorating. Or haunted. As I think it was one of my subscribers. I think it was Nicholas, wasn't it? Said that it was haunted, that storage barn that I put it in. Hence why we don't go in there very often, I guess. Right, so we've definitely got enough fertiliser. I think I missed a little bit under that tree as we started. So I'll do that as well. Head on down this way now. And we should get a nice return of grass off of this field if we look after it. Double fertilised. It's a good sized field. And then obviously we need to for the cows to make TMR we're going to need some silage which we can get from our grass and hay got a little bit of straw in storage but we should get a tiny little bit more off of the wheat field as well and then any other crops that we do that produce straw we're going to get them off of that as well so that's going to be pretty smart so let's just check the map. That looks perfect to me. So yeah, there we go. We will leave it there for that episode, guys. So I hope you have all enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a thumbs up because that really helps out the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please, please do. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.